Last month, I picked up the Pirate Snob Fighter, which is now retired in most stores in the UK. It's still available on the LEGO website, but two weeks ago, we turned it into the V-Wing, and today, we're gonna be taking it and building another ship. In fact, after this video, there's a poll up on the community tab to vote for the next ship I build using only parts from this set, no exceptions. And I've been working on this A-Wing for the last couple of days, about half a week, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Before we get into looking at the model, I would like to remind you the Brickton members have access to the instructions, but if you do wanna build this yourself, I highly recommend breaking down the set if you do own it or trying to find it on a nice deal and trying to build some of these models yourself without any instructions. Even if you decide to get my instructions and join the members, you do get an exclusive 3D printed tile with your username on it, which I think is a really cool feature and access to the channel Discord. As with all of my alternate builds, you also end up with quite a few spare pieces. So I have them here on the board, but let's waste no further time and bring out the ship you've all been waiting for. We will be comparing this to my other recent A-Wing mock in just a minute, but first off, let's take a look at how I've managed to get this done. There were quite a few different wedge plates which you can see used on the front, which really helped to bring the shape of the A-Wing together. And we've also got a cockpit that might not be quite as big as some of the official sets LEGO have put out, but has enough room for a really tall chair and quite a detailed display with a few different flashing lights, which someone might want to check up if that's important. As with all models I build here on the channel, or at least the most part, it is built to a 1 to 45 mini figure scale, which means it is 1 45th of the scale we see it on our screens in Star Wars. And I'm sure there exists some sort of model out there of a life size A-Wing. So if you wanted to build 45 of these and stretch them out, you'll see exactly how long it is. But I have added some detail, especially on the fins here, where Lego use this one single element. I have bricked it together, matched up to the size of the Lego element, but added a bit more color than Lego's original model. As well as the cockpit being way too large for a typical A-Wing, a lot of the parts have gone to the engines at the back and just building up the back of the model. The Snub Fighter was quite shallow and this has definitely got a lot more of a thickness to the model than the Snub Fighter. So there's not many parts to build up an A-Wing. So this was a real challenge, which is why it took me a couple of days. But as you can see, there is no way of getting Vane to fit in the set, or even the pilot as the headpiece is roughly the same. So in order to fit Vane in this mock, if you do want to play around with it, I've removed his legs, and you could probably squeeze a helmet in there, but I've also removed his headgear, and it enables him to rest in there. Though he's not studded down, he doesn't wiggle around, he's not falling or rattling when you move the a wing and it isn't great for a kids model but as this is an alternate build it's a lot more fragile than the pirate snub fighter and i wouldn't recommend giving this to your children to play with but that doesn't mean you can't swoosh it around you can pick it up from the wings even from the front again i wouldn't recommend it but it holds up the only place you can't pick it up from is the engines and if you've watched my v-wing alternate build of this pirate snub fighter. I have used the exact same piece to get that angle on. And all it is, is one of these one by two clip elements in green. Again, if you have a different color, you can swap it out, but it's an alternate build. I'm only using pieces from this set. And that holds on a bracket, which gets the engines at that angle. It's a lot easier when you're seeing what you're doing, but as you can see, that matches up to the angle of the engines we are used to. The engines themselves are built the exact same as each other. You'll notice on this side, we've got a plate at the bottom, a tile at the top, and then a plate at the top and a tile at the bottom. And that is just to make it so much easier when you're building it using the instructions as Lego tend to make you build one engine, then the other. Whereas this model, you can build both engines at the same time and it makes the building experience that much more fun because you don't have the repetition of having to build a mirror model. Though I'm sure, like myself, most of you probably build them both at the same time once you know what you're building. I'm happy I managed to beef up this back bit, which was 
Honestly, my biggest concern when starting it. I started with the front and worked my way back to make sure I knew I had enough pieces to actually build out the body of the A-Wing before getting to the engines. So there are a few ugly parts of the ship, like the round two by two showing, which I really wish we had some sort of Sunot brick I could have used to fill that gap. But the most complex bit was getting the three different hinge connections throughout this ship. We've got the green plates at the back, we've got a one by one holding up the cockpit, which I did have to sacrifice the controls inside for. We'll take another look at them in just a minute. And then we've got the original piece used to hold up the cockpit acting as the weapons on the side here, which is held in very firmly because the weapons are gonna be the thing that are bashing into the walls when you're swooshing it around if you do knock it. It can hold up to some bashes. The only fragile part of this model is those engines on the back because of the potentially illegal connection. It's not illegal as it stands. When the A-Wing is standing itself, there is a bit of pressure on the model, but because of the brackets being upside down on those clips, it's not illegal because if you press down on the back of the A-Wing, the engines just pop off. Rather than stressing out the bricks, which I designed purposefully so it didn't injure any of your Lego bricks. And now I can see what I'm doing. I can show you just how quick it is to pop the engines in place. Well, I'm not sure how well you saw it. And then at the front, I've taken one of the engines of the Snub Fighter, added a dome to the top of that, and that clips just underneath the A-Wing to be able to support it from the front if you did want to display it on your shelves. And if you do want me to put the instructions up on Rebrickable for a couple of quid, definitely let me know in the comments. So I do urge you to save your money when you want a few of these instructions. Join the membership just for a month, download them. The instructions will be yours forever and you also get that tile on the Master Moldy Members Board. This video was available early for members. It's one of the many perks of joining as well as again the instructions of this going up before the video is even out to the public. So definitely give it a think if you are wanting to build some of these yourself, but you don't need them to build your own models. Tag me in all of your A-Wings built using Snub Fighters and even some other Star Wars sets and non-Star Wars sets. I definitely want to get into building non-Star Wars themed sets into Star Wars models in the near future. So stay tuned, check out all the videos on screen now. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video and may the bricks be with you always.